This is ETV, sponsored locally by the Boise Weekly, Radio Boise, and KBOI TV Channel 2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. It's time to find out what kind of cool entertainment stuff is heading your way. And to tell us more about it from the Boise Weekly, it's Tara Morgan. Tara, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, Brad. Now, nice to see you. We've got some crazy stuff going on this week. It's we all do. all over the place. Yeah, actually, uh, kicking things off uh, Wednesday through Saturday, it's BCT's first production of the season, uh, and that's called Refraction. And right. it's written and by and starring Dwayne Blackholler, who uh, works for BCT now. And that would be the Boise Contemporary Theater, right? Yeah, Boise Contemporary Theater. Just checking that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, actually, this season it's going to be really cool. They're putting on six productions instead of four. That's awesome. Uh, so this is going to be one of those additional tacked-on productions, and it runs uh, Wednesday through Friday at 8 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. That's a great way to see local theater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then coming up on Thursday, it's the uh, Salmon and Steelhead Days Barbecue, and so that's at the Idaho Fish and Game headquarters. It's going to be a big salmon barbecue uh, hosted by Fred Meyer. There's going to be ice cream from goodies and... Uh, Lots of games for the kids and fun sort of salmon-related activities. So coming up on Friday, it's the Women's and Children's Alliance Centennial Celebration. So they're celebrating 100 years of serving uh, women in the community. So they're going to have a big sort of gala down at the Boise Center. It should be a really neat event. There's going to be a cocktail hour and then a four-course dinner and uh, sort of jazz music. Emily Braden's going to play. Um, and then there's going to be a live and silent auction. So it should be a really cool event, and that's at 6 p.m. at the Boise Center. Very nice. Yeah, um, so then also Friday and Saturday, it's another great local theater production. Uh, it's going to be by Daisy's Madhouse. And so uh, it's called The Laramie Project, 10 Years Later. Uh, it's a more uh, serious production. It's about uh, the death of Matthew Shepard, who was uh, beaten for being gay. Uh, and so it sort of chronicles this small town and how they dealt with it and uh, should be a really interesting production. Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, so then Friday through Sunday, it's a favorite annual event. It's the Boise Art Museum's annual Art in the Park. Love um, it. Yeah, this is the 57th year they've done it. Uh, so it's tons of, you know, art and artisan vendors just totally fill up the park. Uh, and then there's lots of live local music at the Gene Harris uh, band show. Food. And yeah, 44 different food <laughs> vendors. <laughs> Um, so it should be a really great event, and they started this thing last year where you can turn in your Art in the Park receipt, and it enters you in to be uh, uh, considered for various prizes. So it's oh, that's a awesome. Cool little thing they've got going on. It's, it's a great event. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah, so then also wrapping things up on Saturday, uh, it's an event I'm super psyched for. It's a salsa festival, which is going to be out at the Far West Landscape and Garden Center. Um, so basically, that it's a free event from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and it kicks off with a salsa-making class at 10 a.m., and then there's a salsa contest where you can enter in your favorite salsa recipe, um, and then there's a tomato contest where you can bring your like crazy-looking heirloom tomatoes down, uh, and then there's lots of events for kids and sort of salsa events throughout the day. That sounds great. Yeah. It sounds pretty, you know, saucy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. It's a great week of just some really cool events. Yeah, totally. Got to be happy with that. Thank you so much, Tara.